So how hot will our vaginas get? I was mostly nervous about having such an intimate experience with this doctor. She would insert the device in and out, in and out. If I were to stop more than a few milliseconds, they will feel the heat. I'm like, what, what are we doing? Women are biohackers by nature. We're Lauren and Katie. We're taking a look at the wildest health hacks, wellness treatments, and the most cutting edge biotechnologies. We're taking you inside and unlocking the secrets only women could. This is Biohackers. As women get older, we spend a lot of time maintaining youthful skin. But did you know that our vaginal tissue also ages? We also start to lose libido and experience less satisfying orgasms. Where's the night cream to stop that? We're headed to Vibrance BPC to learn about radiofrequency vaginal therapy. This unusual procedure claims to provide a restored vaginal tightness and improved aesthetic. And the best part? It's said to improve pleasure during sex. Join us to find out what radiofrequency can do for our vaginas. I have been an OBGYN for the last 20 plus years. I have seen many, many women having lost their self-confidence due to these issues. Vaginal laxity, urinary incontinence, vaginal dryness, difficult to having sex, painful sex. Like we don't always talk about the issues that women are having, especially after kids. I don't know if you have pregnancies before. Um, you will see some laxity, some kind of like wrinkly looking. It will look nice and smooth afterward. Wow, I'm so excited for this. Who isn't excited about vagina rejuvenation? <laughs> Thermiva is a radiofrequency temperature controlled heating device that can be used on the vagina. Gently heats your vagina. So how hot will our vaginas get? <laughs> <laughs> there will be a, a probe, a wand. We usually set it at 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So you will end up having a tighter and more elastic vagina. It also promotes microcirculation as well as sensation. And didn't even think that there was such things as vagina rejuvenation without going under the knife. Did you do it in the butt too if you wanted to? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Good question, <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's very popular in the gay community. Yeah, it's the underground backdoor treatment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, we'll just do vaginas today. I think I was mostly nervous about having such an intimate experience with this doctor. So come follow me this way and we'll get you changed into robes, okay? We them into our treatment room. So you can have a seat up here. Sure. The room looked like a standard gynecologist room where the stirrups are there and your feet go up. Legs up here, come all the way down towards me. So before the treatment, I usually always take a picture. When she first took out her phone to take a picture of my vagina, I kind of just had to like go with the flow and realize that this was all part of the experience and it was totally normal. Can you cough for me? <laughs> this picture will allow us to see what you look like before and uh -huh. what you look like 30 minutes later. So this is the Thermiva wand. At this plate over here is a heating pad. So this will be going into your vagina. When she first showed me the device, I like kind of chuckled to myself because it just looked like a really long, thin penis. <laughs> and do you do it on the outside as well? Yes, we'll take it out at the end of the procedure and uh, we will do it on the outside to make the outside look more beautiful as well. This is a grounding pad. So you've seen a lot of vaginas before? Yes. And you've seen a lot of vaginas that have not had kids and then the ones that have had kids. Is sure. there a big difference? There's a big difference. I had twins. I know what my vagina was like before to what it was like after having kids. Your vagina is totally different afterwards. The vaginal delivery causes a dilatation of the vaginal canal. There may be some disfiguring as well. Most of the time it's resorted to conventional treatments such as surgery. Just so aggressive. Exactly. I do these procedures to really help bring back the confidence in women. When she was explaining why she's in this field, like she totally teared up because she literally changes women's lives. I'm gonna have to put some gel. So it's gonna be a little cold. Gel coming in. She put a bunch of lube um, around your vagina and then she would insert the device. We're gonna start. And then she just went in and out, in and out. Will I feel my vagina getting hot? If you feel too hot, you let me know. It was definitely awkward for the first like two minutes. Well, it definitely is not pleasurable, just to get that out there. If anything, <laughs> it uh, feels a little squeaky, like... Yeah, first um, time doing it is kind of weird. Yeah, but I guess you have to move the device around because it get, will get too hot. If I were to stop more than a few milliseconds, they will feel the heat generated. I mean, it's definitely a vulnerable position, that's for sure. 
So in terms of Lauren, she did have a little bit of urinary urgency issues. It's like when I have to go pee and I'm standing up, like I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Because that only happened after the twins. So with the radio frequency, it causes the fibrin production in collagen and elastin. And what the vagina will do naturally is pose up. Oh. It changes the urethral angle, and then it will cause the, um, the urinary incontinence to disappear. Wow. I will do this procedure for approximately 20 minutes internally. So we have gotten to the 20 minute mark, and I'm going to take this out, and then we're going to start on the outside. The external surface is gonna heat up a little bit more. Yeah, it definitely feels warmer, but nice. It didn't feel like she was pleasuring me, but it just felt like a warm kind of massage, which is enjoyable. So most people did not anticipate that there will be changes on their external surface of the vagina as well. It's almost like a mini facelift. Great. <laughs> We're done with the procedure today. Let me just take an after picture. We went through this like whole series of like photo shoot of my vagina. It's weird. It's totally weird. But after the procedure, I felt so much more sensation. I couldn't wait to see the results. I didn't know what to expect for the vaginal rejuvenation. You know, I haven't had kids or anything, so it's not a big area of concern for me, but I was just curious to try something new. In terms of Katie, because she never had a vaginal birth, it's going to be more for an aesthetic appearance as well, a better um, sexual pleasure. So basically, electricity is conducted yeah. um, through the probe. Mm -hmm. You need to have a grounding pad, um, otherwise you will get electric shock. Oh. And we don't want that. No, definitely not. I think I was mostly nervous about just having such an intimate experience with this doctor because, you know, you're sitting there with her for a while and she's really getting into your vagina. So now we're going to start the treatment, okay? Okay. And it definitely just felt like a really warm rod going inside me. Tickles a little. <laughs> like, I'm like, what, what are we doing? Does anyone get, like, embarrassed while it's ha happening? Because it is a little bit of an intimate procedure. I have had one patient while we were doing the procedure, she got slightly more aroused than I want, want her to be. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was kind of embarrassing for her and I guess for me as well. It was just kind of slightly awkward, but she definitely made the, the whole thing as comfortable as it could be. So Thermiva can also increase um, women's sexual orgasm. There's been studies saying that 70% of the women uh, who have sex never experienced orgasm before. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, this will help to promote vaginal moisture and also increases micro nerve endings mm -hmm. and therefore increasing more pleasure. I feel like for men, that's like very top of mind, like making sure their sex life is good, like Viagra and that sort of thing, but it's not as much of a topic for women and like, you know, it should be. They actually sometimes are too embarrassed to talk about it to even their physician, their friends, or even to their partners. It does help women who can't orgasm actually experience their first orgasm, which is amazing and something that we should all experience in our lives. I'm done with the internal. Okay. So I'm gonna switch over to the external. Does it enhance more the clitoral orgasm or the internal? As I'm doing this treatment right now, I'm passing through your clitoral area. Yeah. So it's actually promoting more blood circulation and yeah, you definitely feel more sensation. And internally, because there's a tighten of the vaginal tissue, so you will feel more friction. Um, so it will be very, very good for you and as well as your partner. Win-win. <laughs> In terms of women's sexual health, it's kind of been overlooked by the medical society. I think we have um, come a long way and we have actually a lot of cutting edge devices that can help them. So we're done with the external and then we can take a post-treatment picture. Most of the patient immediately, they will see a great result on the appearance. I've never really seen a photo of my vagina in the first place, so that was quite shocking. This is the before picture. So this is you, and this is how you look like when you actually make the call. Open. Open. <laughs> <laughs> and you see how this wrinkle down here. Uh -huh. This is you afterwards. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Holy sh**. It was mind blowing to see that. I mean, you can see in my reaction how shocked I was. And this is how you cough. You don't even see it anymore. Wow. That should be in a museum. <laughs> I don't even know if my vagina was ever that tight before, but I couldn't believe how impactful just one session was. Any kind of skin that was like slightly loose, completely tightened up, there was not a wrinkle inside. See that? That's a big difference. Wow, huge difference. 
I didn't have a lot of concerns going in because I hadn't had kids, but I just noticed that everything looked super tight and youthful afterwards. It was like a totally different vagina. Looks great. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I probably could have waxed before I came here. To see such an impactful wow. difference, the warm wand rubbing over your vagina, it was like a magic wand. Can't wait to show my husband. I think the most awkward part was telling my husband about it and then like waiting to reveal my vagina to him. And he definitely noticed a difference. My orgasms were in intensified. So I don't think he cared what it looked like. He just knew that my vagina was happy. There are a lot of insecurities about how everything looks in that area of your body. It did make me just feel more confident about how I looked down there. It affects our confidence, it affects our desire to want to have sex. So to be able to give that back to women is such a powerful thing. And this is only after the first treatment. Wow, we need to tell everyone about this. <laughs> you know, not a lot of people talk about what the options are to kind of rejuvenate your vagina. Women just feel like after they have kids that now this is what they have to deal with, and they don't. There is things out there that can really change their life. The fact that something does exist, pretty amazing and something that women should know about.